So facial feminization surgery. Facial feminization surgery refers to a host of plastic surgery procedures that attempt to soften the uh, facial features of a patient. The type of patients seeking these uh, uh, procedures or series of procedures are those commonly who've had a, a, a sex change from male to female. These procedures enable the patient to soften their facial features and you know, obtain a more feminine appearance. So starting from top to bottom, these procedures include the following. So hairline advancement, forehead reshaping, brow reshaping with brow elevation, rhinoplasty, facelift, cheek augmentation, genioplasty, and shaving of the Adam's apple, otherwise known as um, uh, chondrolaryngoplasty. So in the female, the hairline sits lower and anterior compared to the male. So using a series of plastic surgery techniques, the hairline can be advanced and lowered in this type of patient. With regards to the forehead, there are a series of you know, procedures that are techniques that are used, some of them less invasive, some of them more invasive. But most commonly, an incision is placed along the head, along the scalp, the, the forehead is exposed and the brows can be shaved and the forehead can be shaved or reshaped depending on what is trying to be achieved. In, in the female patient, the brow is less prominent. So compared to a male, the, the brow is less prominent. So some form of uh, brow uh, repositioning would be required. Again, the brow, the, brow, the, the, the brow in the female sits higher than in the male. So the brow will need to be elevated and in so doing allows the eyes to be more prominent and to show more as we see in females. With regards to the nose, the nose in females tends to be smaller and more refined. So a reduction type rhinoplasty procedure will be performed to enable the patient to have a smaller nose. Moving down, move, then along the cheekbones, the cheeks in females generally tend to be a little bit more pronounced. So we can either use a series of techniques, either implants or fat grafting to the cheeks to make them a little bit more pronounced. With regards to the jawline, in females the jawlines are narrower and tend to be more defined. In males the, the, the chin particularly is, in, is usually quite square. So again a series of techniques including genioplasty techniques like T osteotomies are performed whereby the chin can be made much, more, much smaller and more refined and the jawline can be made narrower. Females do not generally do not have an Adam's apple, so that can be shaved down using a, a, a small incision at, at the upper end of the neck to then gain access. So the uh, excess cartilage is removed to allow the neck to be uh, straight and take out the prominence of the Adam's apple. For more information, please visit the website at www.ivogwanmessia.com.